Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel, the Elliott Wave Green, Elliott Wave Principle actually, I'm your host Shaheen. Elliott Wave Green was my uh, old name for the channel which I updated it to much better and uh, attractive name. In today's video we are going to look at the, uh, the, the gold and we are going to, to discuss the price behavior and we are going to discuss where the price is heading and where exactly things are. Uh, is, is gold finding the support? Is it in a triangle? Is it finding uh, just getting ready to go down or it's called continuous behavior sideways or all those aspects will be discussed. But if you are trading gold, I want you guys to uh, go back in one of my videos. Uh, I think that was posted right around when gold was trading around around a year. So find a date which is uh, right around the top. And I might I made a very very important forecast that was in uh, I think in June uh, in in the middle of June last year this year actually we are about to end this year so it's not last year yet so a few months back I posted this uh, particular trend line that's uh, right now in front of you guys right over here uh, let me see if I can convert it to black uh, trend line I'm pretty sure lots of you guys are probably unable to see it properly okay and let's see if you can uh, thicken it a bit all right this might looks much better now so this trend line I shared this trend line I discussed that prices are expected to go down and then we have seen uh, price behavior to go down and then we have seen a jump off in the price of gold so if you're wondering right now on a four hourly time frame or on a daily time frame why the hell we found the resistance exactly and we found the collective pattern then that is the reason the trend line from the top is the reason actually uh, on no other analysis if you guys look around no other uh, person is discussing this particular trend line and it appeared to me when I was doing my analysis so what's happening right now I believe that we have uh, probably forming a base for the uh, already formed for the base of the price of gold and we are just ready to go up but I do not believe that we are all uh, going to shoot up all over straight away and then we are going to see 2200 or 2100 very quickly it's gonna happen but if you're gonna see it in a very very dodgy way uh, it's gonna keep people on edge of the seat yet so first of all I'm considering that uh, we are expecting a pullback the big question here is that the correction uh, that we are seeing right over here is it complete or not so we after we have found the answer for that question uh, we will be able to uh, see that the price of gold is expected to go up all right and I'm expecting that we probably have yet to complete the correction I'm considering it that we probably have a, a zigzag sort of price movement expected and we are going to probably uh, lay on top of 1834-1835 area so we can put it right over here in this regard and I've also figured out the uh, uh, the date for the top that the date this top is expected to be let me convert that back again to a black trend line and if you are trading uh, if you are trading gold then you need you need to definitely remember these two dates that I'm uh, putting forward right in front of you right over here is this is November 29 and November 30th right over here in front of you guys so this is November 29 or November 30th for 2021 and I'm expecting the uh, price of gold will be creating some uh, sort of top in this behavior price is expected to be creating some sort of uh, resistance around 1874, 18, uh, 1974, 1975, just shy of $2,000, dollars and i am expecting that we'll see some sort of uh, pullback. The reason is this support line is uh, has worked out pretty good. We have seen one, two, three, four, and five resistance point on this trend line, and I'm not considering uh, this trend line dropping from the top to all over right over here. I'm not considering that I'm not considering that instead I'm gonna use uh, this particular trend line for a reason and I'm expecting that we will be expectly as soon as price go up and find resistance and then we all know that your price is always move between uh, support and resistance so in short I'm expecting it looks to me that we have found some sort of uh, support and a lot of people don't really actually know and they have been using this trend line and right now I'm expecting that we have already found the uh, support on this particular trend line which also is giving us at least three to four uh, supporting points right over here one two 
three, four, and five supporting points. So I'm expecting this trend line uh, has already given us sub the support for the long-term uh, swings of gold. Let's have a look at another uh, trend line that we have. Before we can actually head on, let me do some editing of the, the trend line. Red does not really look attractive or uh, clearly visible on the the small screens okay this should do it and then give me a moment okay all right just give me one more moment please so a lot of people were expecting that the gold is going to come down and find support on this particular trend line our price analysis is giving us different indication I'm yet not deleting this particular trend line that you guys are seeing right over here the reason is because I'm seeing that when prices come down first there is a good possibility that it will go up and find a support on this one as well um, this is a little far stretch the red line this red price movement is a little far stretch we definitely have when prices go up we're definitely gonna go come down but are we going to go do, go do that in exactly this manner this is a little far stretched uh, I would right now say that this price smaller time frame uh, correction is probably yet not complete. We are going to see some sort of uh, price pullback and probably, probably, most likely uh, the prices are supposed to be sitting um, on top of this horizontal support line. Uh, it could be a, a zigzag pattern. Once that is complete, then the prices are heading over. So the big question right now we are asking ourselves is that the correction complete if prices is also able to jump up uh, clearly and then you can clearly beat this trend line that will be indication that the correction has already probably completed in that case we are looking for the target upward which is around 1975 and remember the date once again we are expecting for the prices to reach there on November 29 November 30 so in terms of the calendar days it seems far enough but if you look in terms of trading days then it's not far enough today is uh, November 12th so right over here we are today and then we have about 5 10 and 12 trading days 11 or 12 trading days left so in terms of trading days if you guys look at it it's not a lot of time is left from there and I believe that if prices fall back around it'll be giving us a very very good entry point as well uh, for the uh, prices of gold to go up at that point I'll be exiting my trade and then I'll look for the prices to give me some clues uh, before I can actually turn back down so this is also very important resistance structure as you guys can see this is also very very solid point and uh, let's have a look at exactly on a weekly time frame all right so this is the previous top we should uh, always always keep that in hand and see how the prices behave uh, just around in this area as well so wish you good luck with your trading if you want to actually support me I'm uh, sharing valuable content on my patreon page uh, you can do so on my patreon page which is patreon.com forward slash Elliot wave green uh, there is a membership which is $29 US per month in this under this membership you will be receiving uh, one video per week I will be discussing gold and silver and under this one which is $99 US per month uh, we will be discussing gold and silver at least twice if not more uh, in a week so wish you good luck with your training as I said um, in, uh, in simply words if you have skipped some video I'm expecting for the prices to go at the top creating somewhere around 1975 and then we're expecting that we will feel some find some solid resistance at 1975 that's our target if the day target is more accurate it, I mean the price target is less accurate so you need to put more focus on time target which is around November 29 November 30th and wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye